Yesterday I did a video showing you how to install a new over-the-air update on the Pixel 6 in, and the Pixel 6 Pro while the device was rooted with Magisk. I felt this was needed since there are some specific steps needed to take in order to keep the VB Metafile set with Verity and Verification disabled. Sadly, updating to this security update so quickly resulted in losing root access because of a change Google had made to the December 2021 security update for both Pixel phones. Thankfully though, the folks behind Magisk were able to quickly get a fix in, but they needed some time to test out the changes. Now it seems those changes have been put through the ringer and we can now regain root access to the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro. So in this video, I wanna show you how to regain root access. Now, if this is the first time you are rooting the Pixel 6 series, then it's recommended that you follow my original root tutorial because you're going to need to make sure that both Verity and Verification are disabled with the VB Meta image file. That is required and that does require a factory data reset if this is the first time you are rooting the phone. However, my, the point of my video yesterday was that you can install this new security update without losing your data, and you can also regain root access without losing your data as well. You just need to have the VB Meta image set to disable Verity and disable verification ahead of time. Now, if you've already done this and you have already done my tutorial and the steps included on how to install this December over the air update, then you just need to update your version of Magisk to the latest Canary build and then patch the boot image file in order to regain root access to the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro. So we can do that by going into the Magisk application. If your update channel is not already set to Canary, make sure it is set to Canary. And then you can update the app through the normal method. We just tap this update button, it will download the APK and then install it for you. So once you have either updated to the latest version of Magisk or uninstalled your version of Magisk and installed a newly downloaded Canary build from GitHub, we can then proceed with regaining root access. And we do that by tapping the install button right here and then choosing the select and patch a file. Now we're going to go and locate our boot image file. This is the same boot image file that we have copied from the December security update factory image firmware. If you have not already done so, download that firmware onto your PC or phone so that you can go into that compressed file and extract the boot image file. Because from here, we're going to select that boot image file and we are going to patch it with Magisk. Be sure to make note of which file, what, what the output file name is. You can see right here, it's going to put in the download folder for me and the file name is Magisk patched 23016 and then a random string of letters and numbers. So the K2RTO file. This file needs to be copied back to the PC so that we can flash it in fast boot mode. Once the file has been copied from the phone back to the PC, we then need to boot the device into fast boot mode. And if you want, you can follow a previous tutorial I have recorded showing you how to boot into fast boot mode using the hardware combination buttons. And I'll be linking to that tutorial in the video description as well, but I'm just going to be using the ADB reboot bootloader command, which you can use as well. 
So once we are in fastboot mode, make sure that we have our USB cable connected. And then we're going to open up a command prompt in the same folder as our ADB and fastboot tools files. So here we have that K2 file that I just showed you. We have put this in the same folder as our ADB and fastboot tools. And this is the command that we're going to type out. It's fastboot space flash space boot space and then the name of the file that we just have. Now if you want you can start typing out the name of the file and then press the tab button to auto complete. And we're going to press the tab button until we make sure that that K2 file for me because that was the random numbers is listed here. You're going to want to make sure this matches your file name that your Magist patch file is labeled. Now also if you want we can remove the flash part if you want. If you want to temporarily boot this patched Magisk file, you can do that with the fast boot boot command. It will temporarily boot this image file and boot your phone up into Android, which should give you root access, but since it's only a temporary boot, it's only going to be active until you restart the phone. So again, if you want to temporarily boot this Magisk patched file, which is great for testing. A lot of people will temporarily boot this just to make sure it works and that it does not result in a boot loop. And you can do that right now if you want. But if you are more confident, then you can start off by just instantly flashing the boot image. So with this command all typed out, I'm just going to press enter on the keyboard. And it should do two things, just like before. It should send that file to the boot partition, and then it should write that Magisk patched file to the boot partition. Now, it doesn't matter if this is boot A or boot B. It should be automatically detected correctly for you. And we should also get two OK messages right here. We want it to be OK and successfully done to send it and to write it. And now we are basically done. We're going to make sure that this top option is set to start. You may have it set to something else if you have pressed the volume buttons and that's okay. We're just going to press the volume up button until the start option is highlighted. And then we're going to press the power button to select that option. And now we're just going to boot up into Android like normal. It's not going to take longer than normal. We're going to go through the normal boot animation sequence. And it's going to take us right into Android. Now we can go in and we can check and make sure Magisk is properly installed by opening up the Magisk app and make sure that the installed option is correct. You may get a pop-up if this is the first time you're rooting the phone saying that more work is needed. But again, this video is mainly about regaining root access after installing that December over-the-air update. And I can just confirm that we do have root access by using the root checker app. So that completes the process of updating to the December security update on the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro while also regaining root access as well.